Hello everybody, in uh, this uh, video we're going to look at a uh, few things, uh, one of them is the relative reference compared to absolute reference, we're going to look at some functions and then we're going to look up at uh, one of the functions that uh, is really useful and that's a VLOOKUP function. Um, uh, here is uh, an example where uh, somebody bought uh, three items and uh, then um, what we're going to do is set those cells to a dollar sign in the home tab so we can start typing some prices so a fridge for 500 and then as you can see the dollar get uh, added automatically and then the stove maybe for 600 and then a tv for 250 and then uh, we need to calculate the tax amount uh, tax is a 6.5 percent so we're gonna set this uh, cell to a percent and then 6.5 Okay, then when we tap to the next cell, you can see that it rounds the 6.5 to 7. If we uh, do the calculation, then we're going to be charging the, this customer more than we should. So we need to increase the indent to set it back to 6.5. Uh, this is decrease and increase, as you can see in the number uh, group. So we're going to increase the indent and then it goes back to 6.5. Now we calculate the tax amount and that's... Um, we're going to use the equal sign to start uh, our calculations and then it's going to be this cell multiplied which is the asterisk and by this one right the the amount multiplied by the tax percentage and then we click ok and then that's 32 50 and that's exactly how much he's going to be paying for or she is going to be paying for taxes now we use our autofill this one here the green box you know on the on the corner the green box this one the autofill that way we don't have to put the function every time but as you can see as you can see uh, we get a, a value error and here if you click on that yellow thing it says error in value and the reason why there is an error in value because um, in calculations if we look at this one b3 d1 if we double click here, we're going to see that it grabbed the amount here before, which is okay. But what happened is that it goes to the, uh, that's what's called relative reference. It goes to the next cell every time. So in here, it, it tries to multiply a number by a text. And that's why it gives us a value error, because we cannot multiply numbers by text. Okay. And then in here, it gives us nothing. Why? Because it went to the third cell in here. It went to, see, I, I shouldn't. And then uh, bring it back to, you know, I was trying to show you. So here, um, it, it started here. Then for this second cell, it went to D2. And then for the third cell, which is this one here. So if I click enter and go to this one here, you're going to see that it went to the next cell. Relative reference, that's called the relative reference. It relates to the next cell every time, corresponding cell. And then you grab the B5 and then you try to multiply it by D3, which is this one, which is the third one after the, the D1. So it went to D1, D2, D3. And since D3 there is nothing, it gave us nothing in here. So that's what happened. It gave us a number because you found the number. It gave us uh, 3250. Then on the second one, it gave us value error because it tried to multiply a B4, which is this one here, B4 by a text. And then here it's... Uh, a B5 by nothing that's what we have here so uh, in order to fix that what we need to do is uh, create what we call an absolute reference an absolute reference we do it by adding a dollar sign before the column and dollar sign before the row we don't want to do that to this one because we don't we do want it to go to the next one and next one so we can calculate, calculate the price for the all the items but what we want to do it for is this one here we want it to get stuck in here in, in a way you know so what we do is a dollar sign before the color and a dollar sign before the row right and then if you click enter we're gonna get 32 same thing but this time if we use our autofill as you can see you know uh, the autofill by the way either you can double click or you can drag you know either you can double click on that green box on the corner or you can drag it and as you can see now we have the taxes with no errors and as you can see here, it, it, it multiplied B4, but when it came here, it stayed on D1. And same thing for the, uh, if you click enter, and you get to the next one, same thing here. Okay, that's the absolute reference compared to the relative reference. In this one here, price including tax is a, a, a sum function. Uh, either you can type sum, you know, uh, and then 
you double click on it and you sum whatever you want to sum because that's the price plus the tax right you can close the parentheses or you can just click enter and it does it for you and here again you don't have to do it for the rest all you have to do is uh, the autofill and it will do it for the rest of the, the values now in here we're gonna calculate the total and below that the average we can uh, use two functions total and average for this one this time we're going to use the auto sum the auto sum you can find it here or you can find it in the formulas button right here so back to home uh, we're going to use the sum function which is this one and as you can see you're going to sum the price with uh, uh, no tax then we can use our auto sum in here and we don't have to type again or, or go back and use the auto sum this is the the sum of the taxes and this is the, the sum of the uh, price including tax now to calculate the average we go back here we go to our you know auto sum button and we use the average however here you have to be careful when you use your auto sum make sure that you are only including the range that you need to include and correct anything that got added automatically the extra thing so here we don't need to include the b6 we need to stop at the b5 okay and now we have the correct average b3 to b5 okay because in the beginning was including the total as well and same thing we uh, do the autofill and we can double click to make sure and as you can see included the correct average and here again included the correct average okay so the only place where we used the absolute preference was this one and the reason why we used it in here is because we wanted the tax to get the the reference to get stuck in here in this cell d1 and we don't want it to go to the next one and next one and next one compared to the other ones we wanted to do that okay now we go back to uh, our um, vlookup function okay the vlookup function i added some course ids course names grade percentage and grade letter what we want to do is um, uh, um, look for the percent in this table and then fill up those values okay so if we have a list of 500 or 600 or whatever you know and then instead of start typing you know looking at the number and, and looking at the percent and writing the corresponding number we can use vlookup even if we have data in a different worksheets and uh, to use a vlookup same thing either we can type equal and you type the letter v and then you have it right there and then you can do it step by step Th those are called the arguments you know the first argument is the lookup value this is exactly what we are looking for we're looking for the percent and then uh comma and then you have the table array which is this one here that's where that's where we are looking for the 60. we are looking for this number here and then comma and then the column index is are we looking for the percent no we already have the percent we are looking for the letter which is on on index two this index one index two so that's two and then comma and then true for approximate match and we want an exact match so we're gonna either double click false or, or type false in there and then close the parentheses and then we have a d that's what corresponds to that percent now same thing happens when we use an autofill we're going to have some errors and that's because we need absolute values in our uh, uh, in our formula and we can do that here for b15 and uh, here okay and then enter and then we use the autofill again as you can see we still have the errors and the reason why we still have the error because we need to add the absolute values in the a10 a10 as well okay and we're gonna go back and add the dollar values i did it step by step so you can see the difference from the other uh, formula that we used earlier and here if you use the autofill you can see that dcabf and if you go back to this one you'll see that it got stuck to a10 b15 okay and it didn't continue to the corresponding cells now uh, this is when you use a range now let's see uh, another way of using a vlookup uh, and i'm gonna delete those things on clear the data this is another way you can just you know select a range and you right click uh, and then clear um, 
clear content you can use clear content clear whatever you have in there okay um, another way of using the VLOOKUP is uh, really to go to the formulas function here and then more functions and then if you want to leave it at the because they are organized by categories you can leave it at all and you just type uh, click on a V and then under V you have the VLOOKUP right there or you can filter by a VLOOKUP lookup and reference functions and then you can find your VLOOKUP at the end VLOOKUP here and then you click OK and then the lookup value is the same thing lookup value is this one which is the C2 either you can type it or select it with your mouse uh, table array is this one same thing you can either type it or select it column index will be 2 and then the lookup is false okay and then you click OK and then you have a D and then same thing if you don't do an absolute you're gonna have those errors unless you go back and you add your absolute uh, values in here okay uh, now here is the difference if you use um, I'm gonna clear content now this is as I said earlier this is a range okay now if I convert this one to a table um, if I go here and format it as a table right now instead of a range now I have a table my table have headers yes it has headers which is percent and letter click OK uh, now if I use uh, same thing that I used earlier a V okay the V lookup and then I use this one and then the table array will be this one right notice that now it has a table name instead of a, of a range of values and then uh, the index 2 and then false Uh, the reason why it gave me an error because it says uh, I need to select just the, in here I'm gonna go back and so we said this one we are looking for this I missed something let's try it again and then okay D so I missed the comma I believe all right, so as you can see now, uh, um, it gave me the letters, the corresponding letters, without me having to uh, add the absolute reference. Uh, first, there is nowhere to add absolute reference anyway, because this is a, a table, not a range, because I convert a range to a table. And uh, a second, when you have a table, you don't have to, uh, to add the absolute reference. All you have to do is convert it to your range to a table, and then um, type your your uh, function and the arguments of the functions or uh, use that uh, the one that we used earlier I'm gonna do it again here to show you you go to the formulas auto sum more functions uh, look up and references the VLOOKUP as at the end and this one here and same thing a lookup value will be this one uh, table array will be this one okay and then column index will be two and then this one false okay and then click OK and then you have your D and then of course your autofill to fill up the other values so this is the difference between using uh, a table and using a range if you use a range you need to use the absolute reference if you use a table you don't have to do that okay uh, let's see if we have a few minutes I want to show you another uh, two functions that will be useful if I have uh, first name and last name uh, let's say either is here. okay and then uh, for example you have a list of let's say 500 people and then you want to put the first name and last name together what you can do is use a function called catenate you don't have to remember the name you just put con and then in the list of uh, um, uh, functions you have one that is called concatenate so you can concatenate text and that's a1 b1 and then you have the first name and last name as you can see they are attached if you want to fix that is an easy fix what you do is uh, put a comma and then uh, parentheses space parentheses and, and, uh, and another comma basically this is the first argument which is cell a1 and then there is a space as a second argument and then uh, uh, the, the third argument will be the last name and then if you click enter 
now you have a space if you want uh, a comma and a space all you have to do is uh, add the comma between the parentheses